joy. And I know a lot of people were requesting this and I'm so happy because I had to go through a bunch of stuff, but I found it, y'all. I found the debate I had with Kai, or at the time, Lainey's sister. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sure you have some understanding clicking on this video. Back in 2017, I debated Onision. Onision rage quit. Please go check out the video. Links in the description, links in the cards. And he made me talk to Kai. And the video is very interesting because Kai and I have a very nice civil discussion. But then at the very end, Kai decides, mm, you know what? It was too peaceful. And then just talks a massive amount of crap on me. It's nuts. Well, during this time, now what you will hear sometimes when I had played this and showed you that part of the live stream, she was talking about how the other girls were talking. Well, they were all in a stream with me. We had Billy, Ayala, some of the other ones. Um, I forget, oh my gosh, I forget their names. I'm so sorry to those girls. I'm sure they're not like feeling disrespect and I hope I'm not disrespecting them by bringing them up. I haven't spoken to them. I don't know how they feel. Um, but many of them all came on to talk about the situation. And Sarah decided to come on. That's what uh, Kai, or at the time Lainey, was talking about. By the way, I'm still trying with the pronouns. I'm really still trying with Kai's name. Please don't get upset with me. I am sick. I am somebody who is not well, so I'm doing my best. I have memory issues. No disrespect is meant. I'm just saying that up front. So here's what happened. Um, on the debate, if you guys saw the debate with me and Kai, it probably wasn't a debate. We had a conversation, and then Kai just crap talked me after that. So I was streaming with the other girls, which sound off if you guys want to see that part too, where Sarah's confronted. I also have a situation where I had confronted Sarah um, and we kind of debated on you now with a friend of hers. Um, and I can bring that up too. I've got, I've got a few things that I thought might be interesting if people want to see them. I don't know if they really want to, but you know, just uh, some more information that could kind of help give some insight into what had happened and you know, where things are at right now, especially with the documentary there. But Here's what happened. So, so if you remember in the video with Kai, the debate with Kai, Kai was kind of referencing sometimes Kai's sister. Um, Kai's sister was there at the time, I guess like trying on outfits or something. So Kai's sister decided she wasn't invited, but she came and crashed the stream and was incredibly, incredibly rude. Um, now I, th I don't remember what her sister's name is. And I don't think she's a public figure, so to speak. Um, so, you know, I don't really want to say too much about her, but she came on and defended her. And on the one hand, I'm like, look, I get it. That's her sister. She's upset on her behalf. You know, I, I get it. I can understand that. But, you know, on the other hand, at the same time, from my perspective and my opinion, you know, Lainey's got to take responsibility or Kai, sorry, Kai's going to take responsibility for Kai's actions. It just wasn't as widely known or as widely popular at the time the details of what was happening in that house. So I'd be really curious to speak to Kai's sister today and see what Kai's sister thinks. Not that that's an invitation, not that I'm reaching out. I don't, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody, anybody's privacy here. I just, yeah, I, I think a lot of us are kind of wondering what Lainey's, Kai's family thinks about all this. I'm sorry, when I debated Kai, name was Lainey. That's why I keep having a hard time with this and also my memory issues. Um, yeah, so th those are things where I kind of look at it and I'm, I'm a little curious as to what they think. We know that, Kai's father is not a fan of Greg. Greg has put that out there several times and considering that Kai was supposed to be in a college dormitory and was living with Onion and he moved to be there and how young she was, yeah, I wouldn't be that happy either. So I'm kind of wondering now with all the things coming out, I'm really wondering what her family, or sorry, Kai, his, what Kai's family thinks of the situation. I wonder what Kai's family thinks of the transition. You know, the documentary had stated that they think Kai's transition was more about Greg molding Kai into what Greg wants to be. I'm not here to judge anybody's, you know, gender or anything or what they want to identify as, but I think we've all watched Onion try to mold uh, Kai slash Lainey slash Taylor. And um, we have just watched this person kind of, in my opinion, disintegr disintegrate and not be allowed to become a person. I think a lot of uh, Kai's anxiety issues come from the fact that Kai is constantly trying to people please and, you know, uh, live for Greg's, what Greg wants and what Greg's needs and Greg's emotions when they go back and forth and his narcissism and all of that. And then on top of that, the family, I don't think it's allowed Kai to find Kai's voice. I wonder if Kai really knows who Kai is. And I, I think that might be part of why Kai has a lot of anxiety. And maybe Kai had anxiety before, but this absolutely doesn't help it, right? When you are in a people pleaser in a situation where you can't win and then you have 
the internet coming after you. It's, it's gotta be hard. So anyways, here's our debate with uh, Lainey's sister, if you wanna see it or call it that. And I have one more interesting thing. I don't think it's come out yet. I'm trying to still plan when these come out uh, about this situation. So stay tuned for that because uh, Greg called the cops on me and we're gonna talk about it. Y'all, this in 2017, this was such a crazy story, this debate that happened and then it got crazy. Um, so we'll talk about it. But anyways, here you go. Here's the debate. Let me know if you guys would like to see the live stream with the other girls and what had happened. Um, I'll have to do some digging. If you guys have some links, let me know because I had deleted things, but I also have a lot of things. I have the majority of stuff also saved. It just takes a while to find everything. So let me know what you guys think and uh, on with whatever this was. <laughs> okay, here we go. You ain't gonna come in my house uninvited and scream at me. What the hell happened with Lainey's sister? with Lauren, Lainey's sister. Well, we're gonna get into that, but let me back up a little bit so it'll make sense. The day of the debate, after I had debated with Greg and then had the discussion with Lainey, I got back on my YouTube Live where we had Jeff, Jeff Holiday there, and we were talking, and I got a DM from Sarah Bear. You know, Sarah was the minor that lived with him for a while that now went home because of their shady behaviors in regard to Billy. So, the situation with Sarah was that she sent me a DM, which I will show here, And so as you can see from our exchange, I invited her on and she came on and it was fairly peaceful until all of a sudden some blonde haired girl showed up that I didn't know, I'd never met before and didn't send the link. And I was like, what is this? So let's go ahead and watch the interaction. Apparently this was Lauren's sister, Lainey. I had no idea she was going to be on there. Sarah ended up sending her the link without telling me, so she ambushed me. And let's see what happened and what she had to say. In the house, when he is trying to do abusive things and call it EDSM to another well, teenager. That, I think, I just well, want you to know. The kids, have, the kids have nothing to do with that. And I don't want to. No, and, and I'm, not, I'm not trying, and I'm not saying, and forgive me, I'm not trying to disrespect their privacy, but what I, because I'm not, I don't even know who the kids are. I'm not trying to say anything negative about the children. What I'm saying is, you probably would have been removed anyway because what you might not have seen behind the scenes, there was a huge uproar about what he was trying to do to Billy and knowing that there were minors in the house because that is not a healthy environment for any children or minors to be in when that's what he's doing to, to, to somebody in the home. Greg's, Greg's had a long history of crazy controversial things happening and people being very upset about it for years now because this is the only way he stays relevant on the internet is to, to have controversies so I, and it's just the thing, the thing is I've known people like Greg a lot in my life, a lot. It's never oh. going to be his fault, dude. It's never going to be his fault. There's always going to be some other extenuating circumstance. Uh, uh, wait, I do have something to say to that. He, he had, he does admit fault. Like, I don't know if you've ever, he has admitted fault before, you know, because he's wrong, whether it be, oh. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Okay. Hi, I am uh, Lainey's sister. Hello. Um, oh, hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. Um, I just have a question as to why do you guys care? Like- Because it's on the internet. <laughs> right, no, because it, how if it's, it's abuse, that's, it, he's doing abusive looking actions and making money off of it, and that's concerning. Abuse is concerning. Um, but you're making money off of this too. Yeah, you're yeah. making money off of using other people's drama, which isn't drama, it's their life. Actually, I'm you're not. Into, actually, no, I haven't. Are, are making, I haven't, no. I know how YouTube works, and the fact that you're making 60 plus videos about someone else's life is concerning. Girl, That's when it comes to this, when it comes to this, your life. when don't it comes to this. Don't girl me, don't girl me, uh-uh. No, you're uh -uh, don't girl me. Don't girl me. Don't um, girl me. Come uh, on. Like, let's be adults. Mimicking let's mimicking me. Wow. And adults mimicking me. How you just, you, like, I'm sorry, but when you act ridiculous, like, I can't take I you serious. Okay. Hey, hey. Not, right, yes. Is, this is I'm amazing. Making 60 plus not. videos about someone else's life or drama. 
That's yeah. That well, sounds ridiculous to me. That's great. Well, that's what Onision does. So you support when he does it, but when, and by the way, you you got your facts wrong. So let me like, educate you. In the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning, in the please please be respectful because you were not actually invited here. I'm happy to have you on, but please be respectful. I'm going to try to be respectful to you as well. In the beginning, most of those videos with all of this, I did not monetize. It's only been recently because I said I will not make money off of seeing that other people or children look like they're being hurt. And so if you knew that you could change your statement so i'm just giving you that information so please be okay. respectful to me and i'll be respectful to you thank you for that information but either way you're still making stuff about other people's lives and that's concerning especially considering one of them is my sister right and but the problem is her husband not, is no, putting her in a with he doing that her he made 60 plus videos about girl he has he, he constantly brings up in very negative ways no, his name who has he made 60 I, I, I'm, I'm trying but you have to not interrupt me to let me say it he has made countless videos about shiloh about his exes about they shane dawson just to them though you make videos that are dedicated solely to him he does that to other people he does that to other people too that there's no well, law against that. a relationship with those people. How but you, you do it at 40 all plus know time. Gray, you've never met him in person. Here's, here's, here's the difference. Or here's the difference. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll explain the difference. Okay, go ahead. Onision is a public figure. Greg has made himself into a public figure. Yes. Greg also has chosen his choice to share some extremely controversial things that any sane human being without a borderline personality disorder would not think is a good idea to put on the internet. That a it is, it is, Who it are is, you to go with naming people with um, disorders? Can you do me a favor real quick? Can you do me a favor real quick? Will you say, cash me outside, how about a? No. Okay, well, anyway, moving on. I'll keep going to my point. Thank you very much. Um, he makes these concerning content videos, some of which are extremely disrespectful, amazingly scummy, raiding women's bodies, whether or not they'll give them a... Yes. 12 year olds, 12, oh, there is. as young as 12, and he didn't apologize. Oh, okay. <laughs> and there are, li she does, she was. there is literally she was. no reason. And yes, she was 12 years old, actually. And, and there is literally it. no reason why and not to make these videos. And when he found out, guys, he did not apologize. He laughed. When he found out, he did not apologize. He laughed about it and said he's going to keep doing it and do it harder and even made jokes about how people were calling him an aphibophile. I just don't and you're, I just don't get why you aren't concerned with your own life. You don't know these I, people at all. You, what do you tell my sister? You're 33 years old. Yeah. Get, why don't, go out there, do something else with your life, then talk about other people that you don't even know. You don't know them personally. You don't, don't you. Like, don't you don't know my life. Like, you don't know my life. You don't know my life. You don't hear, you, um, but here's, I know here's. That for your life, you take other people's stuff and you go ahead and go ahead and talk. Them. My whole life. Hold on. Hold on. My whole life, right? Hold on. Let, let's let's be clear because no, you need to get your facts like clear. I say that's what you're doing now, and that seems like a pathetic life to me. Okay, and that's fine, and you can think that. But here's the thing: you don't know my life. My life is that if you and if you knew what you were talking about, you would. I got on YouTube and I decided to speak out about things. I'm somebody that's chronically ill that can't go do a lot. So thank you for being kind to me and polite about that. That's not something that I can help. But I if you want to be said, bad, okay, please I'm don't interrupt me seriously you. like Why stop inter that? don't interrupt me i'm gonna drop you i'm giving you one more chance you can be yeah. respectful and stop interrupting people you weren't invited here you weren't invited you can be respectful you're she's not gonna muted. come on here she's muted anyway joy i muted her she can unmute when she's ready to be an adult thank you very or say, much or say cash me outside how about that that'd be great right okay so so here's the situation I can't go do a lot. This is what I do right now. I've been in many abusive situations. If you want to be upset with somebody, maybe you should be upset at Onision. Remember, he's put it out there about you too. He's put your public business out there as well, including the rest of your family. It is not my fault that I have commented on the that he has done to young teens, children, and also you, yourself, and your family. I actually am pro Laney. I am for your sister. I have made many videos supporting your sister. So before you come on here and accuse me of not having a life and making money off this crap, when I was the one trying to do this for charity, when that was me and your, what is it, your brother-in-law decided he wanted to put money in Laney's pocket and call her a victim, he put your sister down again. It's his fault. Go take your anger out where it should, or are you worried he's going to put your business out there again? Don't don't come at me like this. You weren't invited. I was kind enough to give you a space to talk, but you can actually be respectful. 
And you have to unmute yourself if you want to say anything. Oh. I mean, you know, it's it, they're, they're, the only way any of us can even comment on this, we keep making this point too, Lauren, is the only reason any of us can even comment on any of this is because of the things that Greg's put out there. I, if if he didn't if he didn't put it out there, we wouldn't have anything to say. Okay. I, well, I, you know this is really really funny. The rumor has it allegedly that this girl Lauren is now living with them, and I love how Lauren is so adamant to stick up for her sister and really stick up for for Onision and Greg in this situation. When the funny part is, Lauren, Greg did the same to you that he does to everybody. Should I go ahead and pull it up? Remember when Greg put out all this personal information? Let's take a look. Hey, Blank and Law, sorry you missed your ex because this is bigger than your current boyfriends. It's sad to know you're shallow, generally an awful person who judges their boyfriends based on the superficial and that you have no real understanding of love. I would have kept this private, but I'm tired of hearing story after story about how consistently stupid, materialistic, and horrible you are to the people on a regular basis. Maybe this will be a wake-up call for you to get together and try to be a decent human being for once in your life. Also, bad idea telling us she did ecstasy and other illegal Now your parents finally know and can do a better job saving you from yourself. Was asked to remove the statuses about my blank, saying she misses her ex because his is bigger than her current boyfriend's, among many stupid things she said that I had to hear about day after day despite me repeatedly saying I want nothing to do with her. I genuinely hate people who judge their significant others on their size. Oh my god size or otherwise. It doesn't matter if they're fat, skinny, tall, really, really Greg, or short. You should love them for who they are or not be with them at all. Love doesn't equal, love doesn't equal body type. Love does not equal money, popularity, or any other bull. Don't agree? Then get the fuck out of my life. This is the richest thing I've ever heard coming from you. First of all, aren't you the one that said you guys didn't even really love Billy? That you were just with her because she's really pretty? Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that what he said about her? That she's just really pretty, otherwise they don't really give it. Number two, didn't he just attack Jacqueline Glenn because she got some plants, but we shouldn't be attacking the size of somebody's Number three, didn't he just say that the reason that he knows he's not in love with or crushing on Jacqueline Glenn is because she looks like a man because tall women look like men and tall women aren't attractive? Really, this man is like literally one walking, talking contradiction and hypocrisy. This is beautiful. You get upset at someone for telling the world exactly how things are. You shouldn't be mad at them, but rather yourself for being unable to accept reality. Sister-in-law, stop telling my wife to leave me. Stop telling my wife to threaten me if I don't take down statuses. Stop telling her to steal my phone so she can delete it herself. What I said was completely true about you. Accept it. You openly judge your significant others based on the size of your shallow You repeatedly use a you're wasting your life, mind, and risking imprisonment for your stupidity. My status has broke no laws. No names were even said. And I have a right to post my opinion about obviously stupid people in my life. If you talk on social media about your family, people you don't even talk to, you're a messed up person. I thought I had one person to confide in if I needed to, but I guess not. So what's the moral of the story, guys? Moral of the story is you're not going to come up in my house, be rude, act like rude, trash, basic, wannabe, sorority girl. And, and take over and, and be and, and interrupt everybody and speak over everybody. You weren't invited. I don't know who you are and I don't want to know who you are. And as for Sarah, Sarah, it was rude of you. It was absolutely rude of you to send that link out without even asking me. So Sarah, you want to go and tell people that you felt ambushed, but then you did something like this. Incredibly, incredibly rude to do. Like, I, I don't know who does that. But I'll tell you what, Lauren, before you keep de thinking I'm the problem and defending these two, why don't you go back and remember all the that Onision Greg has done to your family, slandered and, and harassed your father online and put in a lot of information, slandered and harassed your sister and did the same thing to you. Why don't you remember those things? Hmm? Why not? But no, I'm the problem, right? Don't you ever, ever come back in my space acting like acting like that, acting like a moron, a rude moron at that, and expect that you're going to get anything back but being blocked. I was kind enough to you while you were rude, and I finally had to say something, and I don't apologize for it. You don't act that way when you are uninvited. Literally, guys, that's like somebody walking into your house uninvited and starts yelling at you and demanding things and being rude. The f*** are you? You're nobody, and I'll make sure people know that when you act that way. Not okay. So I just want to let people know that was the situation with Lauren. 
And that's it. <laughs> okay, I have a lot more to say. But this has been Joy Sparkle BS. Continue to be blessed yourselves, blessed to others. Continue to try to find the joy that sparkles on the world. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Mwah.